our temperatures are dropping after all of that rain and some mild weather yesterday into this morning. Let's check with Lonnie Quinn about the next couple of days. Happy Monday. Yeah, do you see how, how much rain we got in, in some of the Never towns stopped. south of the city? Over three inches in Brick Township. New York City close to two inches. A lot of rain, but hey, Dana's right when she talks about how it was teamed up with some pretty mild air. I mean, very mild air. In fact, record-setting temperatures for some of you out there. That's the picture right now. And the skies look to be just fine. You had a nice sunset out there earlier. It's mostly clear. 42 degrees currently. Your low temperature was 2 degrees cooler. You were 40 degrees on the nose. That's the coldest we've been all day. Uh, we may have to rewrite that by the time we get to midnight tonight, but that was done at lunchtime, 12.09. Look at the, the high temp today, and it was a uh, record tying high. We hit 62 at 137 in the morning when all that warmth from yesterday, granted the, the rain was gone, but the warmth kind of hung around. Uh, 62 tied a record in Central Park, but we established records for JFK at 58 and Bridgeport hit 54. So records for you folks. Congratulations for your day tomorrow. Nothing like that. It's brisk sunshine, uh, much colder out there. 38 will be the high temperature. So what do you expect? The cold air is rushing in here tonight. So by the time you wake up in the morning, the temperatures, the actual thermometer reading will be in the 20s. It's going to feel like anywhere from 5 to maybe 15 degrees. We rebound you into the 50s. So the warmth comes back by the time you get to Wednesday. And then you're near third, uh, 60 by Thursday. But I think Thursday looks to be a wet weather day. Maybe even some of that late on Wednesday, your Valentine's Valentine's Day, but we'll, we'll show you everything here. Currently, not too much for me to show you. Not too much going on out there. But you notice we are now into that northerly wind. That's going to cool us off. Bigger picture, we'll show you. We've actually got a double barrel cold front. One right here, okay, came through the area yesterday with the rain, and that's kind of you know, sort of dissolving now. But there's a trailer behind it, and that's why we're getting this reinforced jolt of cold air that's lagging behind the rain. It's not going to get here until the late hours tonight, but it'll be set up by the morning hours. Wet weather still off to the west, but that gets in here possibly late. Valentine's Day night. Your Valentine's Day, I think, is going to be okay. Here we go into Tuesday. So Tuesday morning looks bright and sunny out there. Clouds come in late Tuesday, but they break up at times. This is Wednesday, almost lunchtime, 11.30 in the morning. That looks pretty good out there. All right, this is Valentine's Day, right? Well, those clouds will come back to the area, and this time they're coming back with some wet weather. Here you are, 8 p.m. on Wednesday. The rain's not here yet, but I always say on these computer renderings, it could be two hours faster than normal, could be two hours slower than normal. I think you start dealing with a rain chance late on Valentine's Day night and into your day on Thursday. So here's how the numbers will stack up. 38 for tomorrow's high temperature. It's a much colder day. You're 51 on Valentine's Day. Um, more clouds will fill in late. Could be a late night chance for some wet weather. Uh, better chance on Thursday, but it's warmer at 57. Friday, you're 45. Now we bring on the upcoming weekend. The skies be better than what we just finished with this past weekend. Temperatures about 38 on Saturday, maybe 47 on Sunday. Okay, Lonnie, thanks.